Good afternoon uh, from London, nearly evening here and the uh, light has faded. And hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British group for the study of the Duchadia, chairman of the UK Korean French Association, an official delegate of the Korean French Association for the UK, and also president of the Association for the Study of Song and Politics uh, of the UK. I'm here today with an extremely important announcement, namely the publication of my new book, uh, The Great Conspiracy Against People's Korea, which is an expose of the intrigues against uh, Duce, uh, Duce based uh, socialism. And uh, before I go any further, I would just uh, like to thank uh, the head of KFA UK West of England, and who is also the editor of our journal People's Career Today, uh, for actually editing and formatting uh, this book and uh, doing a lot of uh, tidying up work on it and, you know... Um, you know, uh, helping uh, with the design of the book. And as I say, we've also included uh, the graphic, uh, which shows you the uh, networks of anti-DPRK propaganda. Uh, so, uh, and I also would also thank Staffordshire, uh, KFA UK, for... Um, looking at the book uh you know and doing a, a bit of proof uh, reading on it so uh though you know the book is published in my name it's a bit of a collective effort you know and i wouldn't want to take the whole credit uh for the book uh now the title itself which you know some people uh might uh, feel a bit un of unease about um is actually inspired by a book that was published in the 1940s called The Great Conspiracy Against uh, Soviet Russia, uh, which was uh, written by two progressive US journalists, uh, Sayers and Khan. Uh, you know, so, you know, uh, my book takes inspiration from that. Uh, you know, I did think of other titles, but some of them were a bit... Uncl uh, a bit clumsy, a bit unwieldy, you know, I suppose you you could have something like an expose of all the intrigues and manoeuvres uh, against people's career. Uh, but I thought, uh, you know, the title, The Great Conspiracy, uh, is a very uh, catchy one indeed. Uh, you know, and in the book, you know, I look, at all the various uh, attempts uh, and uh, strategies of imperialism uh, to try and destroy socialism in the DPRK to uh, basically recolonize uh, the northern part of uh, the Korean Peninsula. And, you know, these are actually many sided. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, these many ways uh, in which the imperialists uh, and enemies of socialism, uh, you know, work against the DPRK. You know, and in the book, I look at the some of the most more, you know, more obvious one, like uh, basically regime change uh, through violence, you know, which did happen it, uh, during the 1950s when the Korean people, led by President Kim Il-sung, had to fight the Fatherland Liberation War, or Korean War, against the US imperialists. And, uh, you know, you've also had, uh, you know, the massive sanctions against the DPRK. Uh, you know, you've also had uh, sabotage and subversion and espionage by the US and South Korea. And, you know, then you come on to a number of other ways uh, in which, you know, they've tried to undermine or destroy Duce socialism. 
And of course, you know, one uh, wrong assumption uh, made, and I, I saw it once again on Twitter, you know, that the DPRK, uh, you know, was dependent on Soviet aid, and, you know, there was a cosy, hunky-dory relationship uh, with the USSR. Uh, they, you know, uh, there wasn't, certainly not after uh, Khrushchev came into power. So I've got a section on the modern revisionists and the DPRK looking at uh, how the uh, revisionists tried to undermine uh, socialism in the DPRK, basically acting as a sort of de facto uh, ally of I imperialism. I've also looked at the, uh, uh, you know, enemy within, uh, which is a very, you know, very dangerous uh, one, and, you know, which did exist uh, in the form of factionalists. So, you know, the DPRK, you know, faced, uh, you know, efforts from, uh, you know, within and without uh, to destroy it. And, of course, you know, uh, I deal with, you know, the so-called human rights game and the... Uh, psychological warfare uh you know that's been waged against the uh, dprk by uh imperialism and uh you know i also you know uh have uh, you know quoted the uh infamous Dulles plan, you know, Alan Dulles, who was the CIA director, and a sort of uh, little-known quote of his uh, was uh, as follows. We shall arm comedians with jokes that laugh out their present and future, poison the soul of youth with disbelief in their purpose in life, awaken their interest in sexual problems, Bait them with such lures of the free world as fancy dances, pretty clothing, special records, verses and song, so discord between youth and the older generation. And, you know, that was the words of uh, Dallas, uh, uh, which, uh, you know, in which he laid out his plan uh, to destroy socialism in the USSR and Eastern Europe, and as we know, it actually uh, worked, you know, unfortunately, but it's not going to work in the DPRK. As I say, uh, in, in the book, you know, I've uh, looked at, uh, you know, the various facets of psychological warfare against the DPRK. There is... Uh, a bit about uh, NK News in it, uh, but, you know, they must not flatter themselves. I've only spent a couple of um, paragraphs exposing NK News, but, uh, you know, it's in there, and it's a part of a wider context, because you have, uh, you know, different uh, networks to subvert the DPRK, you know, NGOs, uh, propaganda outfits, so-called human rights groups, all, all of these groups, they're all working uh, to destroy the DPRK. And you also have a hidden enemy, the so-called DPRK engagers, yeah? Um, over the years, you know, you've had a so-called DPRK engagement industry uh, grow up. Uh, and the engagers will often... Well, not always, but, you know, some of the time will style themselves, uh, you know, as if they are friends of the DPRK. But, you know, they will go, go to the DPRK and they will whisper, Oh, but you need to reform and open them up. Oh, you need to do things differently. Oh, this is wrong, that's wrong. You know, it's this kind of uh, insidious drip, drip. Uh, of, uh, you know, regime change or some like the uh, title changing the regime. In other words, to subvert the DPRK and to, you know, change into something else. You know, to, 
get rid of independent Duce based socialism. So anyway, you know, uh, that's the, uh, you know, book in a, sort of, um, in a nutshell, in summary form. Uh, you know, uh, I'd recommend, obviously, that people uh, read it. Uh, you know, I hope you will uh, buy it. So I'm going to put a link to the, uh, uh, you know, it's on Lulu.com in the description. I would also strongly recommend, of course... Uh, reading my other books uh, like In Defence of Duce Korea, Korea of Duce In Defence of Songum, uh, Victory of Duce Korea is a Science and uh, also The Famine That Never Was and Behind the Mirror of uh, Lies. Uh, so, you know, I hope you will sort of buy, read and encourage others. Uh, to buy and read the book uh, so you know in conclusion thanks for listening uh, just to remind uh, people in the UK uh, we've got a meeting coming up very soon uh, 4th of December it's a real life meeting we're commemorating the life of the great leader comrade Kim Jong-il who sadly passed away 10 years ago on the 17th of December 2011 uh, so we will hope to see you at that meeting and we'll try and hold an online meeting uh, as a catch-up for those uh, outside the country and those within the country who were unable to attend on the day uh, so please make a date for uh, December the uh, fourth, and in uh, next year we hope to rev up our activities quite a lot. Anyway, thank you uh, for listening to this video. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. And as I say, please uh, buy the book, The Great Conspiracy Against People's Career, and please look out for our activities. Have a good day. Thank you.